Hey guys, welcome to the Z Code System channel here on YouTube. Great to have you back. Today, we're talking about the NFL, and it is our first NFL video of the season as we count down the days till the new season kicks off in September. And we've got preseason games kicking off this week. Of course, we had the Hall of Fame game take place last weekend with the Steelers crushing the Cowboys. And now we are getting ready for Thursday night and Friday and Saturday for the NFL preseason, the rest of the teams to kick things off and to get underway as we prepare for the new season. And we are so happy to have you here with Z Code System on YouTube, whether you're coming to us from our official YouTube channel or if you are coming to us from the blog or elsewhere. So great to have you here. We're going to talk about a few key things with this new NFL season that's just about to kick off. And also we're gonna take a look at, I'm gonna give you a couple of picks for this week's preseason. I thought that might be a little nice treat uh, for those of you who are sticking around and staying with us here on the YouTube channel. Of course, you can always go to the Z Code system and check out the blog. The blog is right there in front of you. And you can get all the great updates and all the great things that we post there, uh, whether it is about the picks that we give you for free every week here on YouTube and on the blog, or uh, some of the other things that we post there and some of the chances you have to win some exclusive prizes. Uh, of course, you can also sign up to Z Code System and use all of the tools all NFL season long to get your picks and hopefully get them right every week when you are betting on NFL games. Now, of course, the preseason, like I said, is kicking off this week, and this is a great time. The teams are going to be playing three games each uh, in preseason, not four this year, uh, but three games, and this is a great time to hone your tactics and prepare for the season, and as well to do research on the teams as they get ready for the season. Uh, as you can see there, I've got my Bengals hat on. I'm a Bengals fan. Uh, have been since the 1980s when uh, I was growing up and saw the Bengals in the uh, in the Super Bowl against the Niners. Um, so I'm hoping for a good year from Joe Burrow and the company. Probably not going to happen. Of course, you know, as a Bengals fan, you get used to that. Uh, but we're going to have a great season of NFL action, and uh, I'm really excited about it. I'm sure you are too. Now, don't forget to go over to the Z Code System uh, YouTube page if you're not watching this on there. Uh, if you're not watching this video on that YouTube page at the moment on that channel, uh, go over there and you can get all kinds of great content. Uh, we put lots of videos up through the week. and I'm just scrolling down here to our latest videos, uh, Major League Baseball picks, uh, the Premier League picks, and the Premier League preview for this coming season. Uh, and a lot of other things that we post there uh, are going up right now, and you can check all that out. And, of course, we'll be putting up the NFL preview and pick videos on the YouTube page for you to check out. And of course, always subscribe, like, and uh, tell a friend about us on YouTube. All right, guys, now let's take a look at a few key dates coming up for this coming NFL season. And so to talk about these key dates, I've just brought up the blog that uh, I wrote and is up on Z Code System right now as you watch this. Uh, we're going to see some key dates here, and I just want to touch on those. And, uh, of course, the first one is Thursday, September 9, Dallas Cowboys taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And that's the Super Bowl champion Buccaneers who are one of the favorites to win the Super Bowl again this season. So you can go over to the blog and you can get all the uh, odds. We've posted those there, the current odds um, that have been posted for this upcoming season of teams to win the Super Bowl. As well as I've also posted the odds for teams to have the best regular season. Uh, and actually we'll take a look at those as well here on the, uh, the video. So let me just scroll down here and we're going to look at these. Uh, of course, like I said, September 9th is the first day of the season. And it's going to be a smorgasbord of NFL action all weekend long. And it's going to end on Monday Night Football with the Las Vegas Raiders, which is so hard for me to still get my head around and not call them the Oakland Raiders or the Los Angeles Raiders. Uh, the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the Baltimore Ravens at Allegiant Field. And this is significant because, as I wrote, uh, this is the first game the Raiders will play in their Sin City home in front of a full house. Uh, so key dates here uh, that we've written about uh, August 12th, uh, this is the date, uh, Thursday night, in which preseason will kick off for teams. Uh, September 28th, we're going to see the London series return. Falcons and New York Jets playing at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in London. Then on October 17th, we're going to see the Dolphins playing Jacksonville Jaguars uh, at the same venue. Uh, hopefully, the cons can pull themselves away from their wrestling promotion or from Fulham Football Club uh, for this game there in London. Uh, November the 2nd, we've highlighted there. Uh, as the trade deadline takes place on that day, 
And then we continue with one of the most significant things this, the NFL has done for the regular season over the last ooh, quite a long time now. Uh, the 18th game will be, t- or excuse me, the 18th week, I should say, will be taking place this season, January 8th and 9th, as NFL teams are now playing a 17-game schedule. So that's more NFL action for you to bet on and to watch. And the NFL season technically isn't just going to be NFL 2021. It's actually now NFL 2021. 21, 2022, because now we have these regular season games that stretch into the new year. And you know what? This is uh, something great because we all want more NFL action. And you know what? One of the great things about the NFL is one of the reasons I like it is because when you have the NFL, this, the, the, the closed season, the off season is so long that you are so excited for the new season to come. And it's a sprint through the regular season, and you only have a few teams who make the uh, the postseason. Um, with baseball, it's a freaking marathon. So you're watching all season long, uh, and the postseason or the closed season is not very long. And same with the NBA and the NHL. So, I mean, I love those sports. I'm a huge sports guy. Um, of course I am. Um, and I, I love all those sports. But that's the one special thing about the NFL that makes it truly unique is that you have such a long off season and a very short, um, compact season, uh, which I always like. Uh, if we look at January 30th, we're going to have the conference championship games as we get near the Super Bowl, which will take place on February 13th, 2022. And that is Super Bowl 60, excuse me, Super Bowl 56, which will be taking place in Inglewood, California at SoFi Stadium, which is the home of the Rams and the Chargers. All right, so that is a rundown of the key dates there. All of it is over on the blog, so check that out there. Um, I've just gone over it very quickly with you because now I want to focus on some betting odds for the upcoming season. All right, guys, so I'm showing you Bet365, which is my favorite online sports book. It's the one that I uh, place all my bets with or most of my bets with uh, online. So this is the one that uh, I am just showing to you. Of course, there are others out there, so, you know, don't have to use Bet365. You can go and use your favorite uh, sports book, whether it be William Hill or any sports book that you use online, um, wherever you are in the world. Uh, or if you prefer to use the brick and mortar uh, sports books, because you know what? I, I sometimes, you know, here in the UK, I like to go into the brick and mortar stores just to check them out and just to have that feel of, um, you know, going in, filling out the uh, bet sheet and then handing it over with some cash. So that's kind of fun to do sometimes. Uh, and a little bit more, you know, interactive uh, with people. So uh, I digress. Um, the NFL futures right here, we've got the best regular season record, and we've got the Chiefs who are being backed at plus 400 to have the best regular season record. And why shouldn't they? They have the best quarterback. Sorry, Tom Brady. They have the best quarterback in the NFL, and Patrick Mahomes, um, who is just fantastic. And the, the Chiefs have been in the Super Bowl for the last two seasons, won it uh, two years ago, lost it last season to the Bucks. Um, but, you know, I think that the Chiefs are going to be right back in it and right back at the Super Bowl. This is a team that, you know, as far as NFL can have dynasties right now, I think that uh, the Chiefs are the modern dynasty uh, and have taken that torch uh, over from the Patriots. Uh, in the NFL, it's a little bit more difficult to have that dynasty that necessarily wins the Super Bowl every year. You know, it's, it's you know, as the old saying goes, any given Sunday, uh, anything can happen. So, uh, but for me, the Chiefs are such a good team, and I think they're going to have a great season again. Will they have the best regular season record? Perhaps. Um, perhaps not. Uh, Bucks at plus 500, and then we've got the Bills at plus 800. And as you can see there, we've got uh, all the way down to the Jets at plus 25,000 to have the best record in the NFL this season, the best regular season record. And the Bengals, ooh, plus 15,000. E. So that's not that great there for my team. So we've got that going for us. Now, so these are the best regular season record odds, so you can get up onto that, uh, jump on that. Um, but I'm going to change now over to, and of course, you've got all these different markets, as you can see there, great markets uh, here from Bet365 and other sports books. Uh, let's take a look at a couple other markets uh, before we look at the Super Bowl uh, market. Uh, we'll look at to win the conference, uh, and we've got the AFC, the Chiefs on top there with the Bills. Uh, not too far behind. Uh, and then we've got the Ravens uh, as third favorites. And then we scroll down all the way to the Texans, who are at the very bottom of favorites to win the AFC. Will they surprise some people? Maybe they will. Uh, Bucks over in the NFC uh, to win the championship there. Niners, 
Uh, not too far behind there, plus 450, and the Rams at plus 550. I know there will be a lot of Cowboy fans out there, and a lot of Cowboy fans disappointed after last week's uh, last weekend's showing against the Steelers. I believe it was 16 to three, uh, a loss to the Steelers in the Hall of Fame game. So a lot of people will be disappointed with that. And uh, the Eagles not uh, in the Super Bowl. Super Bowl winners not too long ago, uh, plus two, uh, plus 2500, I should say, uh, all the way down to the Lions, who are uh, the longest odds to win the NFC. They're at plus five. So we've got those odds there, those markets, this market here, the win conference market. Uh, we'll win the division. I think we'll skip over that one uh, and go right to the MVP. And of course, Patrick Mahomes leading that at plus 450. Aaron Rodgers plus 900. Of course, there's been some uh, issues with his contract there in Green Bay. Uh, here in the off season, and a lot of different things going on um, with the Packers and Rodgers. He's getting older. Not really sure how old he is right now, but uh, quite a bit older than uh, uh, than probably the Packers would like him to be right now. But uh, we got Tom Brady at plus fourteen hundred. Can he have another magical year in Tampa? Perhaps he can uh, do it there. And if we just look at the show more, we've got uh, loads of more potential uh, potential, as I say, MVP winners right there. Uh, all the way down to, oh, geez, look at all these. You could get some great odds here on someone like Odell Beckham at plus 15,000. Uh, that's if you want to back him uh, and believe a wide receiver is going to win the MVP because, of course, we know it typically goes to quarterbacks. All right, now let's look at the one that you all want to know about, the Super Bowl futures odds to win Super Bowl 56. And, of course, like I said earlier, the Chiefs are favorites going into the season to win Super Bowl 56 at plus 450, and the Bucks at plus 700 are right behind them. And then we got the Bills. Could the Bills really win a Super Bowl plus 1100? Who knows? Uh, geez, it's been a long time since the Bills have been in the Super Bowl. I guess the I guess it would have been the early 90s last time against uh, the Dallas Cowboys were the last time they were there. Geez, that seems like a lifetime ago. I guess it was, um, but. They are third favorites uh, to win the Super Bowl, according to Bet365 and other leading sports books. And then we can scroll all the way down, scroll down a little bit too farther, uh, to the Detroit Lions at plus 12.5. Um, the Jets plus 8,000. That's not too bad for the Jets. Um, okay. All right. So those are out to win outright the Super Bowl this year. So it's going to be a great year of NFL, like I said. And uh, yeah, get behind those teams that you want to be betting on. Now, I'm, I'm going to be putting my money down on the Chiefs. I think the Chiefs are just too good. And I love Patrick Mahomes. And uh, I think they're going to win the Super Bowl. And I'm not foolish enough to put a, you know, a serious bet down on the Bengals. Maybe a fan's bet. Maybe, you know, a couple a couple dollars uh, down on them to win the Super Bowl uh, just out of fun. But, uh, you know, if it's serious money, I'm thinking the Chiefs all the way on this season. But, of course, that's up to you who you want to put your money on. And of course, you can go over to Z Code System and use all the tools to help you make an educated bet before the season begins. Now, before we go today, I thought it would be fun to take a look at a couple of preseason games to uh, just to run down. I'm not going to talk in depth about these games or anything like that, but just to have a little look at the picks on the VIP wall here at Z Code System. And uh, as we get ready for the NFL preseason to begin proper on Thursday. Okay, so I've uh, made my picture a little bit smaller there. And so we're looking here at the Steelers and the Eagles that are going to be playing this weekend, uh, or sorry, on Thursday in the NFL preseason, Thursday, the 12th of August. Now, the Steelers have already played in the Hall of Fame game. They defeated the um, the Cowboys, uh, as I said earlier, I believe it was 16-3 to uh, on opening day, or, or on the Hall of Fame game, I should say, um, as we go into that. And, uh, I mean, we can look at that. Uh, they're the last few games that these Steelers played. Now, of course, really, last season, the end of the season there, that doesn't really matter going into this preseason. We're going to see, especially in the first game, um, a lot of backups and a lot of players who are competing for jobs. Uh, we're not going to see the first string players uh, unless they're taking maybe one or two you know, snaps or, or, or maybe a series just to get uh, get things going. We're going to see a lot of the uh, the backups in these games, of course. Uh, but we saw already the Steelers picking up a win against the Cowboys. Uh, but last year, they did end on a sour note. They're finishing out uh, the year with four losses from their last five games. 
Uh, looking over at the Eagles, uh, Eagles also on a similar poor uh, way to end the season last year, uh, losing what was that five of their last six games um, uh, to end the year, and they were dead. Their status there at the end. And um, as you can see here, we've got a score prediction of the Pittsburgh Steelers picking up a 30 to 19 win over the Eagles. And looking at our hot trends, uh, we are uh, Zico's system 83% win rate predicting the last six Philadelphia Eagles games. So if I'm you, I'm getting on that Pittsburgh Steelers to win this game. And also the Steelers already having a, a win this year in the preseason. So that is good. They've got some a bit of a fitness and a bit of sharpness under them uh, going into this game, playing the Eagles who have been yet to play. So uh, I'm going to be backing the Steelers on this uh, to win this game. So uh, I'd get behind that if I were you as well. All right, so let's take a look at uh, another game coming up here. The other game that's taking place on the 12th, uh, as you can see there, if you go over to Z Code System, if you're already a member or you're just wanting to sign up, you can check out all the games that are going to be played on the 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th uh, there in the NFL preseason. Uh, but I'm going to specifically go for this Washington football team. Don't call them the Redskins. Washington football team taking on the New England Patriots uh, in this preseason game. And uh, we'll just take a look at how these teams ended the last season. Uh, Washington going three and uh, three in the end of the season there, losing to the Bucks uh, on January 9th uh, before the Bucks went on and won the Super Bowl. And uh, we can see that, that Washington helped in Philadelphia's hopes of uh, you know, making the super, making the playoffs there and doing well at the end of the season. Um, but then we've got the Patriots who. Uh, ended the season on a high note, beating the Jets. Everybody beats the Jets for the most part. Uh, but they also went 3-3 three and three to end the regular season. Uh, we've got a score prediction of Washington Football Club picking up a one-point win over the New England Patriots. And if we look at our hot trend here, we've got a 66, excuse me, a 67% win rate predicting the last six Washington football team games. So, this is a game that, uh, again, we've got a recommendation. We recommend avoiding betting on this game because there is no value in the line. So at the moment, there is very little value in the value in the line, and we see Washington uh, is the home, or excuse me, is the favorite uh, going into this game. While we've got uh, New England as the underdog uh, going into this game now, the underdog pick. You know, if you want to get behind that, it's only a one-star underdog pick. Uh, of course, you can go over and use all these great tools as Z-Code system to help you make better decisions on your wagering. Now, this is your um, this is your scoreline pick with Washington picking it up, picking up the win in the first preseason game courtesy of Z-Code system. So if you want to get behind this, go on and get behind that. Uh, if you want to make an underdog pick, you might be might be uh, motivated to pick that plus 110 there of the New England Patriots. But guys, that's going to do it for the picks. I'm just going to show you two here for the preseason, but we're going to show you some more later on as we go throughout uh, the preseason and we get on to the new NFL 2021 season. Uh, we'll be bringing you videos each week with picks and, of course, blogs as well. So you can get on that. And, uh, of course, always go over and sign up to Z Code System where you have all of these tools and you can interact with the Z Code System community to help you make your educated picks for each game throughout the NFL season. So that is all we have time for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, share, and let us know what you think in the comments below. Let us know who you are backing to win the Super Bowl this year. I'm going Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes to win the MVP. Who do you got this year? So guys, I'll see you soon. Have a great week of NFL action and enjoy betting on the two games that we've shown you here and any of the other games that you get onto. So guys, we'll see you soon later from Z Code System.